everyone welcome back to my channel today I have decided to do a celebrity inspired look so I've chosen to do Beyonce so I'm gonna do the best with what I got so I'm gonna start off with the Maybelline fit me foundation and then I'm going to combine two different ones and I'm going to also use the Mac mineralized moisture foundation in the color NW20 and with grabbing your beauty blender you just want to dab it all over your face With blending my foundation, I like to use my Beauty Blender and using a little bit of Max Fix Plus to help set and blend the foundation a little bit easier. And then to make sure that everything is blended, I'm going to use this big fluffy brush from Tarte and blend everything in. Moving on to concealer, I'm going to start by using the MAC Mineralize Concealer in color NW20. And then I'm going to use a little bit of Tarte Shape Tape Concealer just to brighten up a little bit more. Again with using my Dampen Beauty Blender with the Max Fix Plus, I'm going to then lightly blend the concealer through. And then to set my under eye concealer, I'm then going to use the Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Setting Powder. Again, I'm going to grab my Beauty Blender with a little bit of Max Fix Plus, dab in my Beauty Blender into the Loose Setting Powder, and then I'm going to just brush that under my eyes to set and to bake a little bit. And I usually like to have that sit for at least 10 seconds just so that way it can really absorb the oils. Now with using that big fluffy brush, I'm just going to then brush it off very gently. And since Beyonce is a bronze beauty, I'm then going to use my Hoola Benefit bronzer and place that just below my cheekbones so I can really structure my face around looking like Beyonce. I'm then going to use my big fluffy brush and really structure that out on my cheeks and bring that to the temples and on my forehead. And you don't want to forget your jawline as well so that way you're structuring in that too. I'm going to add a little bit around my chin as I do notice she has a little bit more of a rounder chin than I do. I'm now going to use a precise hard brush so that way I can contour my nose to get that perfect long straight alignment like how Beyonce does. I'm also going to use that bronzer underneath my nose so it can appear as a shadow. I'm also going to use that underneath my lip so it makes my bottom lip look a little bit fuller. Now I'm going to use the Benefit Dallas blush and put that on top of my cheeks going into my contour. Now I'm going to use my Beauty Blender and just blend that all together so there is no harsh lines and so it looks like it's a flawless even look. I'm going to use my Beauty Blender and Laura Mercier translucent powder so that way I can really define and chisel out my contour by adding that powder to the bottom of my cheeks. Moving forward, I'm going to use the Tarte Skin Twinkle Volume 2 Lighting Palette to highlight my face to really capture that glowy look that Beyonce has. I'm going to use all four colors and really focus on putting the highlight 
on the apples of the cheeks leading up into the cheekbone. And I'm also going to use a little bit of a C shape here around my eyebrows to make sure I highlight all those spots too. And I do notice here on her forehead she does have some highlight there and on her chin as well. Now moving on to eyebrows, I'm going to use the Tarte Amazonian Clay Waterproof Brow Pencil and start by brushing the eyebrows upward. With using my MAC 242 brush, I'm going to just conceal underneath my eyebrow to really get that rounded effect underneath my eyebrow. Moving on to the eyeshadow, I'm then going to use the Naked Urban Decay Smoky Palette and start by picking up the color Combust and putting that all over the lid. I do notice she has a little bit of a smoky look, so I'm going to pick up the color Whiskey and start by contouring into my lid, focusing on the outer corner and along the lash line. With using a smaller defined angled brush, I'm going to pick up the color Password and add that color onto my lower lash line, focusing on the outer corner, as I do notice Beyonce does have more of a gray, smoky effect on her eyelids. Now with a flat brush, I'm going to pick up the color High and Dirty Sweet. Make sure that flat brush is a little bit damp so that way it's picking up the pigment a little bit more. Now with a structured precision brush, I'm then going to pick up the color 13, add that onto my eyebrow bone and focusing on the inner corner of my eye as well. Since I didn't feel that was enough highlight, I'm going to take my Naked Urban Decay Basics palette, use the color Venus, and go over top of the eyebrow bone and inner corner of the eye. Now I'm going to take the L'Oreal Paris, the super slim liquid eyeliner, brush that onto an angled brush, and outside of my lower lash line, I'm just going to line the lashes. I'm also going to use that liquid eyeliner and use that in my lower waterline as I do notice Beyonce does have that tight line. Now onto the lashes. I'm going to use Dodo Lashes D105 but you can also use just mascara if you wish. I'm going to outline my lips in Mauve Shimmer by Rimmel and I'm going to use the Buxom Lip Gloss in the color White Russian. Now, as I mentioned, you can use mascara if you wish instead of lashes. I do notice that Beyonce did have a little bit more of a natural look, but I wanted to give a try these Dodo lashes since they were sent to me. 